With Croto Studio Pro, you can add your own sounds, create new presets, and customize existing presets from the factory library. The edit mode consists of the core engines area, the performance area, and the assignment area. The core engines area is where sound files are imported to. It features four tabs, and inside each tab, you can add up to four core engines. To add a core engine to a tab, click the Add Engine button. You will then select one of three engine types, Granular, Reformer AI, or Sampler. To add sounds to a core engine, drag them directly from your sample library, or click inside an empty engine and select Add Samples. You can combine up to 16 core engines of any type within a preset. To remove a core engine, click the Close button. Once you have added sounds in, they will be listed in the sample drop-down menu. You can solo, mute, or remove individual samples. Once your sounds are loaded into the core engines, you can control their level, pan, position, and pitch. You can set an engine to loop a sample, and you can normalize the volume of the samples within a core engine. You can also enable autoplay. This will trigger sounds to play back automatically when you hit the start button on a preset, rather than interacting with the XY pads. You can also enable a release trigger, which will only play the samples within a core engine when a click trigger is released. Finally, you can select between two playback modes. With Round Robin, the samples will trigger sequentially, in the order that they were imported. With Random selected, the samples in a core engine will be selected randomly with each click. The performance area looks and behaves similarly to the perform view, but with some extra features. The no trigger checkbox enables you to generate sound when interacting with the XY pad. The performing template drop down menu enables you to select a layout with which you will interact to generate sound. There are many to choose from with different layouts for different use cases. To assign parameters to the performance area, Select a parameter and drag and drop its name directly onto a parameter drop zone. Hovering over a drop zone will cause the color of this zone to change to green. To assign a parameter to this zone, simply release the mouse click. Click on a component to open its modulation table. Here, you will see the parameters you have mapped next to a depth slider. Adjust this slider to set the range of the parameter when you interact with the XY pad. To remove a modulation assignment, click the close button X to the slider. Once you're happy with your preset, you can save it to reuse. Click the burger menu and select Save Preset As. This will open your own preset library destination where you can name and store the preset. To load the preset, click Load User Preset from the burger menu. Explore our library or start building your own presets today.